Hi there, this video is about the suggested solution of the midterm of Econ 307 Advanced Mathematical Economics. This is the title of the paper. It has basically two parts. First part is based upon short questions and the other is long questions. Uh, so this is the display of the question paper. Now let's come to the solution of it. So the suggested solution basically has the short questions in the first place. When we talk about the first fill in the blank, it asks us about the order and the degree of the given differential equation, which is this differential equation. So we have to consider the higher order, which is third order. So this is the third order, and then its power would be the degree of the differential equation. So this is how we fill these two blanks. Then the definite solution of the homogeneous case of the first order differential equation is this. We remember this from the previous videos. This is the uh, solution. Then the standard form of the exact differential equations is this. We remember this as well, so we can fill this blank with this. And then the functional form of phase diagram is this. dy over dt is a function of y only and not any other variable. We have also studied this in the lecture of phase diagram. The first order di differential equation of Solow's growth model is this. We also have studied this. So this was the um, uh, the fill in the blanks part. Now we come to the long questions part. It was about developing the framework and to solve the system for the dynamics of market equilibrium and market price and its dynamic stability was also to be discussed. So the solution lies in one of these links. We have the link given here and this is the DP of that. And then we have uh, the beginning of this solution. You can refer back to this link and uh, watch this. This is simply um, um, a scroll through of this uh, model. This was the framework of this model. And then this was the diagram. And then this was the solution starting after this. So this was the solution. And after the solution, we got the time path and the time path would be interpreted for its dynamic stability. So this is the dynamic stability. The links of these are also there. So you can refer back to these links. We do not have to revise the same things here. Then we have the next question which is requiring uh, us to solve the given system by using the exact differential equation method. So this is the link of it and this is the display picture of that. You can uh, refer back to that. I'm displaying the solution here just as a formality. We do have the video of this available already on the channel. So this is the four-step procedure after developing the exact differential equations. And then after this we will be able to develop the solution and when we look at the solution, there was a small part requiring about the nature of the solution in order to for this to become a cobb douglas production function. This C needs to be negligible. So if it is equal to zero, then we can get a cobb douglas production function, which is logically and economically meaningful. So this is already discussed in the video. So you can refer back to that. Finally, the last question was about this national product equation and the dynamics of capital were to be determined. So this is the video solution of this question and this is the display picture. So this is the solution if you want to scroll through this. This is the material that explains that how we can use the variable, uh, the separable variables method to solve this given uh, equation which is a differential equation. We are following the variable, uh, separable variables method. So in this way, the whole uh, paper can be solved. These were the suggested solutions of this paper. If you find it useful, you can give it a thumbs up. You may share it. And you may also request for further solutions. And you may subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Thank you.